In a previous tutorial, I demonstrated how to download Dropbox to your computer and have the folder actually show on your desktop. But you will not always be able to download Dropbox to the local computer. If you're working on a university computer or an employer computer where you do not have rights to download and install software, then you'll have to work with Dropbox online. So I'm going to demonstrate in this short tutorial on how to work with Dropbox whether it's on your desktop or whether it's online. What I'm going to do is uh, to create a couple of Word documents and uh, first thing I will do is go ahead and log in to Dropbox and here you'll see the Dropbox folder with the one folder that I've already uploaded the word underscore zero one and I'll go ahead and click on Dropbox my folder on my local computer and slide this down so that you can see that the same folders are in Dropbox both on my desktop and on the web. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open Word and I'm going to create a document. I'm going to insert first of all a picture and this picture is going to come from the Dropbox folder that's here on my desktop. I can either click on desktop and find the folder here or in Windows 7 we have these favorites and I could click Dropbox here and see the, the folders and files here. So I'm going to double click Word and I'm going to select this picture called Dog Picture 1 Insert. There's the picture. I'm going to click File and Save As and I'm just going to go ahead and save this file to my Dropbox folder. And so let's say that this were the assignment for Word Chapter 1. Then I would go ahead and open that folder. And I would save this file. And we'll just let it save as the file here, doc1.docx, and save. And we'll close this file. Now, at this point, I have in my Dropbox folder on my computer, open my Word 1 folder, and there is the doc1.docx. It's a file that I saved to my local computer. But if I open the Word 1 folder here on Dropbox online, I see it there. The reason is, is that whenever you save to a folder that's on your computer that is being synced with your account online, that whenever you save a file to your computer, then that file is automatically synced and you'll find that file online as soon as you go there. Now I'm going to give another example. This time I'm going to start Word and I'm going to insert this time a picture from my Dropbox folder. I'm going to use Dog Picture 2. And we'll click File, Save As. And this time I'm not going to put it in my Dropbox folder. I will just place it on my desktop, but not in the Dropbox folder. So I'll stay out of Dropbox. I'm going to come here and we'll call this one Doc2. Save. And we'll close that file and we'll see right here that doc2.docx is not in my Dropbox folder. I'll open it. You'll see that it's not here anywhere. And it's also not here in my Dropbox folder. So here's the original folders that were there. Word 1. Open it up. There we see the doc1 but not the doc2. Now I want to put that file Let's say that you're working on a computer that does not have Dropbox on it. This could be like a computer in the library or a friend's computer or your computer at work. And so you create files on that computer 
but you want to move them up into your Dropbox account. Well, that's fine. Just open the folder where you want to be. In this case, I want to be right here beside this Doc1. So I'm simply going to accept this folder and come up to Upload. It tells me to choose the file that I want to upload, so I'll click Choose Files. The file is on my desktop and it's a file called doc2.docx so doc2.cocx then I'll click open there's the file waiting to be uploaded so I'll click here to start upload and in just a few seconds there you'll see the doc2 file that is now on your Dropbox folder online and guess what if we open your Dropbox folder on your computer, there it is. Because your Dropbox on your computer is syncing with your Dropbox folder online, and within just a few seconds, when you place a folder in a folder, you place a file in a folder here on Dropbox on your computer, then it's going to be synced with the files that are here online. The way you move back and forth is use the parent folder link, so we'll click that. That takes us to our original level, our, our root directory on Dropbox. We can click here to open the folder and look at the files and then work with them this way. We can also come over and select this arrow on the outside. We can come down, uh, we can download the file to our computer, we can move it to some other location, we can rename it. We can copy it to some other place, or we can click here to delete the file. So you have all of the file functions that you need here in your Dropbox folder, both online as well as your Dropbox folder here on your computer. You can do exactly the same thing with both, and whatever you do in one will sync with the other.